Hey everybody, it's me, Todd Howard. In commemoration of my brand new game, The Elder Scrolls IV Skyrim, I will be making a real-life version of Mayrune's Razor. To start, I draw a basic plan on my whiteboard. The knife seems relatively simple, but the build is actually surprisingly complex. I guesstimate the size of the blade, and I mark it on an old chainsaw bar using a sharpie. I hack the blade out with an angle grinder, and then smoothen everything up using a file and my belt sander. Then I weld on a bolt, which I'll use as my tang. That gets grinded down, and then I hit the edges with the sander to get a nice, clean profile on them. I heat treat the blade by normalizing it in three cycles, then quenching it in canola oil to harden it. It smells like McDonald's, but it gives me some scale to work with and makes the blade hard enough without being too brittle. I always use an oven to temper my blades for that extra measure of safety. I use some elbow grease to sand the edges into a nice gleaming polish, which provides great contrast with the core of the blade. I take pride in the symmetry of the edges on this knife, but I think they're very impressive for just hand sanding. I draw out the template for the guard onto an old sawmill blade and use my insane angle grinder skills to cut out the pieces. Instead of carving a steel blank, I've decided to weld up a stack of steel slabs. I feel like it's just easier with my given skill set. I use an antique cast iron or steel ball, which I cut off some sort of shackle for a horse-drawn farming plow, I assume. I bored out the center to fit a hex nut, and then cut a section of bicycle frame tubing, which I formed into a socket on my anvil. I welded this all up, and then proceeded to cry myself to sleep because of how fucking terrible my welding is. I bored out the center of some washers to fit the tang, then used a hole saw to make several wooden washers out of an old piece of a toboggan. I stacked these together on a makeshift mandrel and sand them all flush. I hit it all with a torch to try and age the whole thing and make it look more ancient. Next I cut out four little teeth from some scrap metal. I weld these onto the ball's socket, hammer them to form, and then sand the welds flush. It came out rougher than I was hoping for, but it is what it is. Ooh. Ready for this? With the forge fired up, I run the garden pommel through some normalizing cycles, then I quench each to get some scale. I drill out the guard to take the bolt, wire brush the scale, and finally assemble the knife. After a few test strikes, it breaks in half. It's a very common occurrence with my lack of luck, so I'm very used to it. I disassemble the knife and make a stronger joint between the bolt and blade, then I use a torch to temper the weld. To be extra, I weld the bolt to the guard fully. It works perfect, and the knife holds up to abuse. <laughs> It's not the most perfect knife I've ever made, but it sure is awesome, and it's got a very, very deadly point, so I'm very proud of it.